What's up everyone, I'm Ola England and you're watching Ola Testing Sh Today I'm trying out the new Mesa Boogie Mark 7 amplifier. Hello. The Mesa Boogie Mark series has a lot of history to it, going from, you know, the late 70s up to now with the Mark 7. And compared to a lot of the other Mesa Boogie amplifiers, I consider the Mesa Mark being the most flexible out of the bunch. The last one I tried was the Mark 5, and you might wonder, well, what happened to Mark 6? Where's Mark 6? My guess is that the John Petrucci uh, JP2C was basically the Mark 6. And, uh, or they just skip because 7 is cooler. But even though it's new, the layout is pretty much similar to all the other Mark amplifiers. You have three different channels right here. All of them have three different modes that you can switch between. On the third channel, for instance, you have a Mark 2B mode, a Mark 2C mode, and a Mark 4 mode. So very metal-esque modes right there. On the crunch channel you have fat, you have crunch, and then you have the Mark 7 mode, which is supposed to be like a bridge between a uh, Mesa rectifier and a Mark series amplifier. So something in between there I would say. And then on the clean channel you have a bunch of cleans and crunch. Clean, crunch, and lunch maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna try too much of the cleans today, I'm gonna do what's important. There's so many other good demos out there where they're trying out all the different modes in this. I'm gonna be honest, I'm only gonna play death metal on this thing. Okay? Are you guys okay with that? No? It also comes completely MIDI controllable, so you can store, you know, different presets and whatnot. Obviously, you have the 5-band EQ, which is like, it's the Mark thing, man. And then you have reverb for every channel, effects loop on and off, all that. There's also a cab clone headphone output, as well as a DI output, so you can record to your computer uh, silently, or, you know, sit with your headphones and play silently as well. For this demo, I'm using this XF 1.6 uh, going straight into the Mesa Boogie Mark 7. I'm also using a Fortinsu noise gate into this rectified cabinet. That's an SE Voodoo microphone right there. It's a ribbon microphone. I also have a slight bit of stereo microphone over there. And this is, what is this? <laughs> this is channel three. Oh, it's the Mark 2C Plus mode. We're starting with that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And that's the thing with the distortion of a Mace amplifier. It's so dry, man. It's so tight. Ugh. And obviously, you know, the Mark IIc Plus, John Petrucci sound, and, you know, the classic Mel tones from the 80s, Metallica, stuff like that. We have that dialed in right here. <coughs> and in this mode, the EQ set right here works as a pre EQ before the drive section. So that's why you see my mids at zero and the bass at zero. <laughs> I can turn these up, but we'll flub out the sound a little bit. And if I dial up the treble... It's getting so gently, man. Shit, man. That's so freaking good sounding. Okay, let's go try out the Mark II B mode. I 
feel like this mode is like a single call mode. <laughs> Press this down a little bit, that's a little ear piercing. Okay, Mark IV, man. Oh, remember the Mark IV? It's like the <gasps> standard of Mel back in the, during the 90s. That sounds so good, man. Okay, let's head over. I, I want to. Let's go back here later, okay? Channel 2. That's a little too, uh, too clean for my taste. Let's do crunch. Here we go, a little bit of a crunch. All right, cool, man. But let's check out the Mark 7. They say it's the bridge between a Mesa rectifier and a Mark series amplifier. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, maybe I need to turn off the EQ for this one. I'm running all of these in uh, 90 watt mode, okay? But you can also switch down every individual channel to 45 and 25. So you can have the first channel being 25, the second being 45, last one being 90. That's pretty cool. All right, I shut off the post EQ run. Okay, let's turn on the EQ. Gain is only at 12 o'clock. Crock? Gain is only at 12 o'clock right now. Yeah, man, it sounds really good. However, because it is a Mesa Mark amplifier, you know, I want that 2C plus type of tone. So I think I really prefer the third channel. I mean, listen to that tightness, and even the Mark IV. Even the Mark IV sounds kick ass, man. It's just such a fresh beast. Oh shit, I think it's the gate that's <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Let's try out the cab clone output, okay? So there you go, that's Def Mel or Metal on a Mesa Boogie Mark 7. How much is this thing? Okay, where's my phone? 3,499. What? Yeah, it's uh, three and a half grand. Holy f It's really been shitty for the past couple of years because, you know, uh, the cost of parts and stuff like that has really skyrocketed and that obviously shows in the, you know, end price to the consumer. However, it is really a flagship of a Mark amplifier right there. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not that impressed with the Mark 7 mode on this, but just this channel 3 right there, man, with the, you know, Mark 2C Plus and the Mark 4 mode. For a metal aspect, that's all you need. Then you get the rest of the bullshit as well. <laughs> Is it worth getting for the Mark 7 mode alone? Absolutely not. However, if you want a Mesa Mark amplifier today, this is this is it. You know, if you ever try to get a Mark 2C Plus amplifier today, you, a used one from the 80s, they're also insanely overpriced and expensive. So, I mean, this is probably as cheap as it can get for you right there if you want the Mark Mesa tone. Or you can just get the plug-in from the old DSP. I still have to try that out, but yeah. If you want a real amplifier, this is the deal right there. Also, I'm not even sure you can get a new Mesa Boogie amplifier in Europe right now because, you know, they've been focusing on the US market a lot. And, you know, even like the Badlanders have been really sought after in Europe. And it's it's really tough to get one. It's, it's parts, man. There's a lack of parts in the world. So if they're concentrating on the US market. I understand that. Mesa did send me this 120 volt version for me to try out. It's going back to Mesa later, so this is not a sponsor video. Obviously, I say whatever I want in my video, and you, you guys know this. If you like my video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. You can put a thumbs up. You can get a t-shirt from olanglish.com. That's the absolute direct way of supporting what we do right here. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.